As you guys already know by now, Twitch is going through a MeTube movement. Everyone is exposing sexual harassers and predators left and right. I'm glad that most of these victims are coming forward and exposing the dark side that most of these streamers and esports personalities have done behind the scene. Among this movement, Fed Meister, a popular Twitch streamer and a former member of Offline TV, was exposed for sexually harassing Yavani, Lily, Pokimane, and many other girls. So what did he exactly do to them? To summarize Yavani's twit longer, she was touched by Fed inappropriately. Specifically, he touched her side and kissed her hand while he was drunk. While with Lily, when she was going through a breakup with Albert, Fed walked into her room while she was drunk and asked if he could massage her, to which Lily said yes. So he started massaging her leg, then up to her thighs. About a week later, Fed came into her room drunk and told Lily he liked her. She felt uncomfortable and Fed told her to not tell anyone on what happened between them. After after Yavani dropped her twit longer, most of these people were completely disappointed that Fed did these creepy things to Yavani and many others. However, what's really interesting is that there were tons of people defending Fed because he's a good guy or he just didn't awkward flirting. A couple minutes later, Fed dropped his apology and admitted that what he did was completely wrong and he didn't mean to act in a predatorial behavior. Afterwards, he was removed from offline TV and was kicked out of the house. However, we're not just done yet. In Yavani's twit longer, she said that Pokimane suffered worse in the situation, but she'll let Pokey explain what happened between her and Fed. Now, the next day, Pokey went on her stream and talked about her experience with Fed. Now, instead of me putting her entire 30 minute statement on here, obviously, I'll be showing you guys some interesting bits on what she said about Fed. So, I, um, I also explained to the girls that I felt the only proper and unproblem unproblematic way for me to deal with my emotions was to move out of the house myself. And I also want to quickly elaborate, there were a lot of reasons why I wanted to move out. Yes. Fed was a big pushing force. Um, I do still mean all the other things about moving out. He drove everyone around me away from me. And I started freaking crying at the intervention and after, just out of like mourning the years of friendship that I lost with these people because of him. Toast also sat down with Fed a year ago. At this point, Toast was the only one from OTV who was aware of the incident with Yvonne and Fed. And he warned Fed about the growing concern within our friend group in regards to his behavior around girls. And this was before we all shared our stories. Um, yeah, in regards to his behavior around girls, especially when drinking, and this was before all the recent stuff. It was just like, a concern that was starting to build at the time. Fed responded by getting angry at Toast and claimed to not have remembered the incident with Yvonne and he seemed more concerned with who else knew about the incident and about anything else and who had said what about him. I am sharing this on behalf of Toast and with his permission. At the Just Friends house, he would come over anytime things were off or tense at the offline TV house and just like be in their rooms, never knocking, just there, um, which they came to accept as just fed things. While he was there, he would always imply things were bad between me and him and lie or um, push false narratives that make him look good and make me look really bad. Or when he was over, he would be in one of their beds almost all the time. Later, when the Yvonne incident happened and when they did not know that this happened, he would come over to their house and tell them things like, Yvonne is taking up a content creator spot in our house. She does literally nothing but play league um, and talk about how much he wanted her out of the house. I want to put a huge emphasis on this. The way he talked Yvonne and Lily to me and others, particularly I will just recount my experience, is so frustrating knowing what happened between them. 
The Yvonne incident happened and Fed would start talking to me. I'm so sorry for being emotional. He would talk to me about how Yvonne was lazy and not working enough and playing league all the time. And I was concerned. And he would say, oh, she like won't work on OTV stuff with me or brainstorm and blah, blah, blah. And this discussion got to the point of us almost letting Yvonne go from the company because we thought she just like wasn't interested enough in working with us. When in reality, her behavior was entirely because of the incident that happened between them. After this, both Scarra and Foosley made their statements about Fed, bringing more interesting info about him. He ends up always kind of manipulating the truth to make himself look better in a lot of different ways, in ways that you don't really need to, you know, if your friend group, if you're like friends with someone, like I always trust Fed and whatever he says about anyone, but, um, it came back to a situation where um, I found out that he that it wasn't always the truth. Um, we came out with the statement because after we had a three hour intervention with him and seven other girls and six of the girls all came out with stuff against him. Uh, he proceeded after that day to contact the people who weren't there and kind of do exactly what we told him was the problem, which was to tell them uh, only his side of the story. Uh, and kind of spin it in a way where he ended up being the better person. But it's like, I don't think that's like, we just had an intervention about it. So it felt kind of weird. Apparently like Kimmy, uh, Fed was in Kimmy's room, like um, in the back house area. And like, you could see me apparently. So apparently Fed saw me changing uh, and stuff. And instead of like, just looking away, he like notifies Kimmy that I'm changing. And then is like, she's changing. like. What? Anyway, so, and then makes the point to like come over back to our place, my room, and like tell me that he saw me changing and stuff. And and I don't know, maybe I've talked about this on stream and like think about the way I shared it. I was like, ha, like Fed saw me changing, lol. Oh my God, just, that's so funny, Fed. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, The way we like, if you go back on so many of these like clips and stuff, the way we like, we make excuses for it all and um rephrase things. I, I have talked about this, right? Because I think I was just like, oh my God, Fed saw me changing, lol, Fed, you know, um, but it was weird. Like, that's a weird thing. And it makes me feel so high and so low at the same time. It's crazy. It's like this, like my feelings with him. I'd feel so incredibly like cared for by him and he would pay so much attention. And then the next month you're, you're nobody to him. Ignored, not one message from him. You'd send him a message, nothing back. Um, you know, and I'm like, wow, I just I I felt like weirdly like dependent on his attention at some points. And when I talk to the other girls, it's very similar. It's very similar like emotions. And it's so weird. I can't describe it. Um, So that was something that, yeah, that I yeah, I felt like if he didn't because he literally would make a habit of just coming over to this house or wherever I or other girls were living, just walk in and he'd do that maybe every day for like or every other day for like weeks and then he'd just stop and you couldn't help thinking, is there something wrong with me? Did I bore him? Did I like, am I like just, you know, just I did I get just thrown out? Like, you know, he moved and then you find out he just went to another girl's house all the time and that time on the offline TV podcast when like they like they said something to Fed and he got triggered like and he came, he called me on stream crying and he put me in a really hard situation because like, he's like crying to me and I'm like, hey Fed, I'm streaming. He goes, I know, keep streaming. And I'm like, what? And he's like, they make me feel like yada, 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 right? And so I'm in this really awkward situation of having to, to comfort him, but also on the other side, OTV's like, please end the stream. Please stop talking, please. Like, and I'm just like, I felt so upset, I, I, so I just said, hey, please, can you, like, I, I have to go, you know? I forgot how I ended that, but I was in such an awkward situation in that point, and I was really mad at him for putting me in that situation, for seeing that I was on stream, calling me, putting in me, me in that situation, um, and, and stuff like that, right? And he, he has a, a thing for going to run, like, at the Just Friends house, like, we knew he would come to our house all the time, always in a bad mood, and it was always because we, I, it was like, oh, Fed's over. 
And this is where the situation ends so far. Maybe there'll be more people coming out, but we'll wait and see. But I'm very curious on what's your opinion about the Fed situation. Do you truly believe that he's a creepy weirdo or is he not? Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Make sure you hit the like button if you do and maybe subscribe to my channel for more future content like this. But I hope you guys have a nice and safe day and I'll see you guys later. See ya.